Hello and welcome. I'm Clarissa. I hope you're doing good. And today's video, I want to talk about some astrology. So the Mercury retrograde in Libra, which I think we've all been feeling. Uh-huh. <laughs> and I did a little minute video, like one of those uh, YouTube shorts. But that was essentially just a views. <laughs> this is the substance, honey. This is the substance. So um, I wanted to just um, do a video because although we are starting to come out of the Mercury retrograde, we're still going to be in the shadow period until the uh, end of the October, beginning of the November. But in that stage, we're going to be fully understanding about the things that we've gone through during this time and we're wanting to move forward. There's an urgency to move forward, taking with us what we know and continuing to implement the detail of the things that we've needed to, you know, due to the dissection of this period. So um, who's felt like this metro, Mercury retrograde period has been a bit crazy? It definitely. It's, um, the Mercury retrograde is all about reevaluating our feelings, our processes, um, our speed, everything. Um, how we communicate with each other, how we communicate with, with ourselves, the things that we believe, um, how we express our you know, intellect in a, in a sense um, and the things that we try to create. And so, um, and our movement, you know, because it's Mercury, it's about movement. Um, but when in Libra, it really speaks about how we conversate our value to each other because Libra is about partnerships, it's about our dynamic in relationship, how do we view our value in relationships. So these are going to be the topic of conversation in the Mercury retrograde period in Libra because, you know, we, instances, we always go through situations where we feel undervalued or we don't see the worth in, in some of the things or we feel like some people don't see the worth in the things that we do. So it has to come up again as a conversation so it can then be challenged and healed. And so this is, this is essentially um, one of, I think, one of the hardest retrogrades of the year because of the, the the season that it happens in Libra. With Libra, when you think about it as a season, it helps to break down part of, uh, you know, the vitality, the energy that we've had during the summer. You know, Virgo season is when we start to feel the irritations around us, when we get a little cold and <laughs> things like that. We start to, um, it gets us prepared, you know, it gets us prepared for the more contemplative, um, emotional seasons, which are the autumn winter because they, they reside more in, in darkness. So it brings out our deeper subconscious emotions. And so the first uh, Mercury retrograde, it really just speaks about how we deeply feel in, regarding our value in our relationships with each other. So um, it being Libra, and, and that energy is always in a flux. So it means that Libras are not, they're not you know, essentially balanced, but they're always in the energy of being balanced. So they're always trying to make the situation, you know, calm or, um, you know, reflective of how, how it should be. So they are reflective, um, they can project and then they can uh, be inspired by a situation. So, you know, that is why Libras are really good at being, um, you know, the diplomatic people, you know, can see every situation and tries to create a solution for everybody. Sometimes people don't want solutions like that, but Libra, you know, A for effort. <laughs> <laughs> so in the Mercury retrograde, you know, um, it also speaks about, because it's an air sign, it speaks about our thoughts, it speaks about our, our future thinking, Libra with the scales and the balance, it speaks about legal issues, processes. How do we feel valued in partnerships, in relationships, in dynamics of duality? What is the polarities in our situation? Who's expressing that opposites? Um, where do we want to project who we are? Where do we want to interact with seeing our belief at that moment? And so um, this is essentially what happens in the Mercury retrograde. So anything during the retrograde periods, um, it always it kind of leaves an unopened conversation. So something that's going to be revisited either the next retrograde or um, it could have been from previous retrogrades. This is when, uh, especially Libra, 
this is the when we have the conversation about exes. <laughs> because where else do we feel valued or undervalued in our love connections? <laughs> So this is the retrograde time is always when an ex comes back up, just springs out of nowhere, you just, oh gosh. <laughs> or, you know, it's just a situation that needs to be um, closed. And how do we create a sense of value in those relationships in the, that we're trying to revisit? And this is what it's all about. We wanted to express the growth of who we are. So um, if there's a situation where it was left at one point and now that situations come back in you've got to now show who you are at this point you know where did your values um, lie and um, who have you grown into you know sometimes when we go back to situations because you know we've still got some challenges or we've still got some things to sort out when we can completely um dis detach from a situation um you know it means that we've we found a way to grow from the situation or, or you know leverage the energy of how it felt into other things and and this is what it, this is what it's all about so i just wanted to encourage you if you felt like uh you know it's been a bit annoying this retrograde season i definitely concur <laughs> i feel you but it also it's really good to have some emotional administration we we always we always need it and so when we're going into these uh, future winter months it gives us an introduction into the things uh, that we that we want to express interact with the things that we want to clear the winter months is always about bringing people closer together you know <laughs> celebrations and family um connections these are all when these conversations start coming up it's getting us ready you know, for these connections and yes, by January, we are literally tired. <laughs> bring on spring, bring on summer. But this is a really perfect time to, once you get, get what it's all about, what it really means, it, it drops the energy of frustration and makes things you know, very focused and uh, contemplative in a really positive way, not stressful way. So I hope it's helped. And lots of love to you. <laughs> and I'll see you next video. Bye.